this game yeah. eventually. You can't just sit back and play chicken for eight minutes. So they will see if they can find an invasive move into the enemy triangle. The Poshka well, is the frontliner front here. Good. Smoke is popped. Oh, Emo just okay. straight Emo in. jumps in. He's getting decimated, but there's a save from Ollie for now. But no, there's too much damage to withstand. He does not have buyback. Oh, the JP spear. is next on the list. Double kill for Yotaro. It looks like Flyfly with the BKB will get out of dodge, but a triple kill now for the Morphling. And nice arena from Collapse. They find Flyfly. This will be an enormous kill. He turns into Monkey King for just a moment. Ultra kill Yotaro. What a turnaround from Team Spirit. And make it a rampage. Yotaro, beast mode enabled at TI-10. Like five three quarters. Uh, I think Carl's net worth has to be up by a few hundred. 800 or 700, pardon me. Yeah, Lyft, trying to get some lead. retribution yeah. here onto Carl. Oh, he does get, get the, the stun. Yeah, Carl needs to back up despite Wymon being here. Well, never mind, Zephyr's on the high ground as well. It's a 3v1. Oh, if Lyft, Lyft dies here, chased. this is he gets so... Hexed as well. T1 looking for another kill on the mid laner for Alliance. Okay. Oh, he gets off. Oh, he's going to mitigate a little okay. bit of damage there. Turning it around. Okay. He gets two kills before dying. At least get something out of it this time, Cinderman. Well, Carl, job done. While Sumail hiding on a trap, not going to get scouted by MSS. Oh, and a good quick discurs. It's there on the seven Thompson. Yoa with a stone gaze and the Wukong's command to back them up. This is the fight Quincy needs. Spear on Thompson for the Sleep. nightmare save. They sleep him up. The double circles the Ben Dagger and death. Quincy crew fighting to the bitter end, but Thompson is so strong. Manages to blink out. Another spear, another to simulate. No tell, nearly dead, but Thompson and Samel continue fighting. He's still not done. Medusa's pretty much out of mana right now, and MSS is nearly found by Samel. A contribute back. Thompson, he wants a kill. Give it to me. Oh man, this double damage was a perfectly set curse to try to reset a bit, but the damage output from Samel and Thompson is a bit too much. Smoke up. OG, do they realize what's coming? They're actually going to open well, up on the auto road, first. but the rest of the team coming in in time to try and save their carry. Is it going to be quick enough, though? No, they jump in! Oh, the RP! But he already died! And now the winner's course afterwards. Sox in some trouble. Toronto, Tokyo, and they are all in pretty deep at this point. If they can maybe find a couple quick kills, it could be good. Thompson down low dead. Rooted afterwards. Maposhka, Mira, right on top of Sumail. Jump forward, Seb, trying to save this. He's done it so many times to them before, but can they do it again? Sumail walking away ever so slowly, bit by bit, trying to escape. But Mira, he won't let him go. The jump forward, this lion, head collapse, doing absolutely everything for Team Spirit here. As four go down, Seb tries to get away. But will it end up happening? No. The Yule Scepter lift up into the remnant. Toronto, Tokyo, having a coming out party, absolutely. I believe Arteezy will be coming for that. I'm actually a little surprised he's only level 22. Does that surprise you? It's 48 minutes. It feels a little bit low. It happens a lot of the time to Terrorblade, right? Like, you get so much of your farm with illusions. Oh, oh we're going to finally get the initiation for you. Yo, he gets a pistol bladed into the Laguna blade. Is that going to be enough? Yes, he actually popped the BKB, but no Chronosphere to follow. Still has buyback to work with. And there you're seeing the Puck Ags come into fruition. If you've ever thought a VPN might benefit you, why not try out NordVPN? Use our link in the description or code HEX to get a massive discount. It helps the channel a lot, so please consider it. I, I almost feel like I want 33 to show up in defense. Yeah, okay, he is. I was like, this Viper has to show up to all of these power Viper's it. in. able to dodge the rolling boulder in time. Connection will still be on to no tail, but the ult is pop. TP heading over for Vada. Cops are continuing to make some big hits here with TD Rune. And 33, he'll fall. He's out of action. The Malady though, and the poison damage killing Thompson. Thompson's probably going to pop here. Off to the side, Sasha comes in with the stun. Nine trapped in by the Sprout. Thompson is still alive. He did indeed avoid that final bit of damage with the, the timing of the remnant movement. Making sure that he hit came in whilst he was in Bunner. Of course, can't find openings. They can't find farm. The smoke towards top. Oh my Magic god! So great dodge with the illusion room, but they've got the swap into the nature's grasp. They'll use the arena, and with the right clicks coming through, Cuckoo's getting low. But they've also got the help coming through from Carl, and now, unfortunately, he's hit by that beast grip. Just standing his ground. They've got themselves the call down. The lookovers. The nightmare is going to land on a Carl. They get the kill on White Mom. That's going to be two dead. Double damage on Yotaro, and they'll find a third. Carl falls, and Team Spirit come out ahead of that. 
There it is, Butterfly done on Nightfall. That's a timing. Straight up with the smoke, they're ready to go. With the, with the move straight into the high ground. EPK just leads in. He's ready to go. Straight on a PYW. The set of is caught. The Amahori has to put the BKB in. Back off. Ooh. Great play from DM there from the low ground. They're going to look towards DM now again. GPK puts the BKB. He's on the DY. They're on Ori. Grab back into the ground. Ori's just gone. DY as well. Poyoyo. Poyoyo. He's only got all the by his side. All level does have a ravage available. He's doing good. Pit for now. The group. Oh, he was using the ravage. Comes out of the five. But do they have the damage to turn this around? Oh, they're trying to go for save, for save with the stick of the brain strap. Keeps him alive, save. Still going DY, they've got the tree. GPK sits over, fights DY hiding in the trees. Everybody dead on the... Tap the experience while Medusa jungles. This will be a lot a lot more difficult for Extreme to actually make work as Mellow Jewel. He hits level six as Roger's rolling in. Roger. Trying to get that haste rune, does manage to pick oh. it up into his bottle. Let's see if he can turn this around. Mellow Jewel. With some style here, he's going to try and bring down Roger, turning this 3v1 gank into a 2v3. They managed to get one pick off, and maybe another here. You could see him. He wants to go for Always Want to Fly, especially now with the help of two. He's going to run out. The last little hit is not going to be enough. He bottles up. The Thunderstrike won't kill him, and look at wow. him come back to make sure that Iceberg goes down. It's going to be tough. Big. Secret, they are smoked now. I believe they have the Blink and the Atos. So now they can actually make plays. He was on the high ground, though. Stampede in, they're gonna get the jump on to RGW with the Mystic Flares and enough burst to take him out. It's not, he's gonna get relocated over to the side, but Matu's there waiting. We'll be able to kill him off. Now turn towards the next two targets, Tolbine with the setup, but Secret a little hesitant on committing into this, even with RTW dead. Miracle, he epied the floor. Well, the, the floor's dead, I guess. A yep. secret, they've got, no, they've got to find the IO. They're gonna be able to jump over, get the grab on the mind control, the setup's there with the remnant. There, get the vacuum wall on oh, the bar strike. Oh, oh, there's the combo, oh baby! God. There's the combo onto the four of them. As they take down three, and Miracle's not done yet. He's running down Matu. Matu and Yapso, they've got to get out of there. Oh, well, there we have it. As you were saying before, these points in the vacuum, the setup's there from Mind Control. Oh, and Nigma with it. Good move again from Beast Coast. Manipulating the map so they've got bottom and mid both pushing in towards Radiant Base and trying to. Fourth now back and distract Liquid here. Oh, let's see. I, I thought for a second. TP cancelled. He gets the cancel bolt. Cancel TPs. Schofield stops the bristle on TA. They're pushing high ground. Schofield, he stops the defense. Liquid are going to have their base cracked wide open. This is such a big play. And the, also the fact that they were standing on top of each other. He had invis like a lot. Just absolutely ridiculous. They, they just feel so strong. And Hood, uh, I, I'm actually just seeing like Hood every single game too. Zion's gonna come up and he's not afraid of anything apparently, but there is a rebuttal from Limp. He's gonna get the spear inside it's the arena sidewalk. underneath the tier one tower, but the relocate coming in and Alliance aren't actually strong enough to fight this. Maybe they can still hold their tower here, but the glyph is gonna wear out. They're gonna drop the goal. They do have a really good Fatal's Bomb. The Spear goes three with the relocate back. They're gonna be able to catch these heroes potentially. It's the Zampede going off. Looking to be able to run down the Underlord. Zai nice. now dead. Nisha's low, but they are running a bit out of steam. Unless Limp. He does have. He okay, he does manage to land that spear. Nico Baby's here to be able to finish him off, but he managed to get out the Ghost Shroud. He's gonna heal up a little bit more. Io's coming in, he's gonna tether him. He turns around, goes for the Reaper Sight, but no, Nico Baby makes sure that's not gonna happen. Limp keeps it going. Now with that arcane rune, he just keeps. Getting oh, man, but those moves continue to, to go unharmed in this game. 4-0-1. And we refill mid. Let me see if they can make a go here. It's Arbet's got the dream coil. Set things up straight away as they're moving on to the Lena Crips. Able to dodge the light striker array and the stomps to stay on top of nothing to say. There's nothing to say. He's trying to bottle up, but the right clicks are too much. As they bring him down, Fly will fall in return as Y turns and runs him down. Arbet has a lot well. of damage. That's 200 damage. Puck picks up a DD. Got a DD. Yeah, Y looks uh, pretty there. The lion. Xing Maybe Xing can help. Hex out. Into the combo. Shard's actually going to grab the two of them there. Crit. He's going to be able to stop he's them from being able to escape. Up. And they just turn and kill them both as well. Then Arbed. Arbed, he's on because fire. Right now, because of just farming jungle, there's no way you can keep up with uh, farming against an Aya Gyro. Even killing Ducky here will be worth some value. Yeah. If they can. But how are they going to do it? Okay, start uh, with the coil. With the coil, that's a pretty much a guaranteed kill, unless... They're going to have to use both spells now. Oh! Oh, the yeah, illusion rune. rune! They oh, didn't the click on him! They didn't rune. click on him! Oh, did we? no! Did we? Oh. In the previous patches, where you, like, especially <laughs> someone who has a jump, now you pretty much need to stand on someone to be able to use it. Silence! 
can see through Remnant coming through. They've got the roll with Yule. They're going to put the Guardian Greeks rolling and coming in with the TV. They're going to do this on the back line. The way challenge. They're going to make something happen. They get the kill to feed. They're going to kick out the Earth Spirit right away. Oh. Damage coming from Siler. It's not going to be enough so far. They did get Zomniss. Chalice got some buybacks coming around the whole side of people. They look over at Fade, who's going to try and roll out, but he gets on the red hand. And, they look, and they landed down. They got the Zomniss. On the Luna. There's the Zid on the Siler. They'll get the kill. Gone for She's available. Siler going to Zomniss. He just cut it off. He got the cheese off, just surviving, but it's still locked down. They've got the silence and the sun. Sonic trying to fly away back to the corner. He's trying to get out of He's trying to go after these heroes. He'll keep trying to get them out. He's trying to get them Once again, they've got three of them without buyback. They'll look over at NYX Nova as well as XM. XM, get that kill on X Nova. They'll look over at XM. It's a full team wipe. GP called Matt Healthy things. He's starting to get his farm up on the Grimstroke, doing his staple, going for his Aghanim's Rush, as he knows the Wraith King likely to go for a Radiance this game. So that could be very effective. We've seen him carry multiple games we with are, this build. They're That's, trying to punish him. Yeah. They're looking for him. They don't want him to get this. Nice Manta by, or, sorry, Manta. Illusion Rune by Quinn, dodging yeah. out the Inkswell. Yeah. That's it. Right. Don't see that. Stacks get interesting I mean, You get when... the HP talent, potentially. Right. right, but you're level 9 minute 25, so... Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think it's better to save uh -oh. it for the potential. Oh, yeah, so the silence, he's not able to get to his invest off. He has to buy back in the game. Inkswell does connect, as Doom just trying to trot away here. BKB'd right now. Actually gets doomed himself. I believe it was a Lotus Orb Reflect or something like that. As we have the Doom still applied to Maku in the meantime, but he's fine just right clicking as Zai has come to the rescue with the RP and they die back on the Life Stealer, and that's just GG. I, I gotta say, I'm a little bit concerned for Spirit with this start. Ooh, Split Up will not connect oh, Toronto Tokyo damage. with that double damage. And this is gonna be a huge kill for Toronto Tokyo, considering the lead that Limp had at that point. That is a big one. Nice yeah. pickup. We're gonna see a Chronosphere in the top lane, but. Not a whole lot of damage to follow us up with. In fact, <laughs> the Marana arrow is going to come from the other side. <laughs> Thanks, He's got Nico. his teammate in there as well. And the Shackle Shot does connect. Nico, baby. No time walk for another eight seconds. Collapse. Might be able to get a little bit oh, more here. I almost missed. Yeah. Wind Ranger for the win. Toronto, Tokyo with a triple kill across two lanes.